Hey everybody, hello. How's it going? Timu basically took every order that I have, that I had left, and shoved them all in this box. And the box was literally like bulging up at the top, bulging up at the top like this. And it, I don't know how the stuff made it here in one piece because the thing was just completely falling apart. Good morning. It's so early. I just woke up a little while ago. What time is it? It's almost 11 o'clock. But um, I woke up around 9 and I'm still kind of trying to focus. I'm happy though. I'm happy to be here wearing this happy Timu sweatshirt. Okay, let shall we get some of this stuff out of the box and out of my life? Oh my gosh. Wow. I should pause for some kind of a I should have taken a thumbnail before I started this video. Jeez. <laughs> Do I look overwhelmed? <laughs> I feel overwhelmed. I, you know, if I were a regular, a regular customer, I would be happy to get everything I'd ordered in one gigantic box. But as somebody who relies on my hauls for content, it sucks to get eight orders in one box. This is going to be an epically long video. The first thing in here is... I have no idea what I was going to do with this. I think I was going to put jewelry in it or perhaps diamond painting beads. It's a little plastic partition or it's a box with little boxes inside of it. All right. I don't know how much that cost. We'll figure that out as soon as I get something substantial out of here. This is horrible. You stay. I've been, the cats have been fighting all morning and my nerves are just jangled. My watch is beeping at me. Okay, the next thing, there's so much stuff in here, it's just pouring out. But I got a sweater and right off the bat, I can tell you that they must have pumped up the color in the picture because, hold on a minute. Oh, Lord, I forgot to bring the garbage bag over here. What else is new? It looked a lot more vibrant in the picture than it does in real life. It feels like a normal sweater. It is a Halloween sweater. Who knows if it will be sweater weather come Halloween time. But there it is. Ghosts. Cheese. All right now I can maybe find what we're dealing with, but I'm sure once I find that order, we'll jump, have to jump to some other order. But yes, I see that Halloween sweater often when I'm looking for price adjustments. The other day I got a $6 price adjustment on something. I mean, $6 on one item. That was crazy. That was like the most I've ever gotten a price adjustment on. And I was just like, wow, I could buy 90,000 pairs of earrings with that. All right, hold, just hold up a minute and I'll get us on track there. Oh, my nose is running. That Halloween sweater, uh, I paid $15.47 for it, but then I got a price adjustment. But it is still $15.47. It looks much better on the model. See how orange it looks in that picture? It doesn't look that orange in real life. Oh, well, that's all right. A little sad, but I'll get over it. All right. All right, then. Um, I have no idea what to... I'm a little stressed out <laughs> by this box of stuff, as you can tell. I'm a little angry, and I'm a little stressed out about it. And someone had a good suggestion. They said you should have saved some of your old bags and opened this up and divided it all up into the old bags and then just pretended to haul one bag at a time over the course of a few days. And yeah, I mean, I could have done that. It wouldn't have been as authentic though, like an authentic 
reaction. This is a sweatshirt. First, let's do the fleece inside test. No, there's no fleece inside, just this rough material. So that stinks. I got it in 2XL, which I'm learning is still not big enough for me the way I like sweatshirts to be. It is spongy, spongy feeling. And it says I'm an 80s kind of girl. I'm not a girl. I'm a woman. What was I thinking when I bought this? I was thinking, hey, there's a cassette tape and a roller skate and some of those sunglasses we used to wear on it. I don't know. I just got a little nostalgic. It's not grammatically correct. Now, the comma is supposed to go over here, but I'll give it, I'll cut it some slack since it's just a sweatshirt and hopefully we won't hear the cats fighting. How much was that sweatshirt? Oh, I'm going to say it was about eight bucks. I'm trying to find it because that's, of course, in a different order. How are you guys doing? Everybody doing okay? Anybody have any big plans this weekend? I'm just going to clean and... Oh, is my head being cut off? I'll try to lean back. I don't have any big plans this weekend. Just opening this box and cleaning... And who knows when we'll ever see that sweatshirt or if we'll ever find that sweatshirt. Here are some earrings and fingernails. And here's something I got for a guy in our office. Now, I don't mean anything by it. Like, he's married and everything, so I'm not hitting on him. But I got him something because he is the office Santa every year and he really takes it seriously but now I'm thinking is that weird to give like well I'll show it to you if if it's in here when we get to it and then we'll decide if it's inappropriate to give a married man some cheesy little thing you got on Timu because he's the office Santa 80s kind of girl ten dollars and 79 cents is what I paid for it and now it's 11 98. Okay. This is a cute top that, of course, is not in the order I just pulled up. I think it's going to be cute, but it is very shiny and polyester-y, so never mind. If it were a cottony feel, it would have been cute, but... This is the front of it, and then the back is cut open with lace. No, it's kind of sleazy. I actually, I didn't realize it was that. I mean, that's not appropriate to wear to the office. Where are you going to wear that? The fair. I don't know. It's really hard to show on camera, and heck no, I'm not getting up and trying it on because... But anyway, the back is ruffled, slid up the back with lace underneath it, and it looked cute in the picture, and it looked subtler. It looked a little more subtle in the picture. It, it didn't look like the picture. That sounds like the theme song to this channel. Okay, quit it. The sound of that box is grating on my nerves. Is it in here? Solid V-neck? No. Here it is, lace stitching back crew neck 849, and it is still 849. You know, it did look like this in the picture, but the model was holding a cup of coffee and just looked like she was living her best life. And I thought, I want to live my best life like that chick. I probably did think the word chick too. I want to be like that chick. I got this for my brother for Christmas. Now, he doesn't watch this channel, and it's all crumpled up because, of course, it is. But it's a, it's an, what the hell? It's an air fryer. Of course, there's a sticker right on top of it. Like, could they not? Could they have just put the sticker up here, though? Is this going to be a grumpy old lady haul? It's an air fryer cooking guide because he loves his air fryer. And I'm sure he already knows how to cook all this stuff in it. But just in case, 
and you can stick it on your refrigerator. Oh, I took my fingernails off and I have to do them this weekend. So just ignore my disgusting little, look how stubby and they look weird now with no nails on it. Anywho, I'm unhappy about the sticker right here and I don't, I want to keep it in the plastic and I don't want the, whatever, wah, 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 wah. My brother's going to get all this Timu stuff for Christmas. Someone's calling me. I'm not answering. And I don't know how much that was. I don't know what order. It could have come from one of 900 orders. Here it is right here. It was an air fryer cooking guide. The ultimate air fryer companion. $3.98. It is what I paid for it. It's now $3.47. For a whopping 350, you too can get a little thing that you stick on your air fryer. Now, how many of these headbands do I need? I got another one of these hair headbands because apparently I just can't get enough of them. I have no idea. Oh, there it is right there. $2.47 and it's now $2.48 and you can get it in light brown, dark brown, black red or something i don't know i don't know i got this chanel hat that says chanel in pearls on it it's a beanie it's spelled a little bit wrong it's spelled with an e instead of an a but it makes me laugh Let's get it out of here. It's a little cold, you guys. I don't know if it's really cold or if I'm just... I need some iron in my blood. But it's a little nippy. I started out wearing a t-shirt. And then I thought, I'm freezing. Okay. I feel like I should... Start this video over with a better attitude. I'm blessed to be able to have all these things. Chanel. <laughs> now, no one's going to lean forward and read your head. You can pull it off. It looks like a real Chanel beanie. I don't even know if Chanel makes beanies. And I'm sure they don't have a cursive Ch Chanel. Whoever came up with that is ridiculous. That's funny. I put this in my community feed so everybody could share that Chanel joy. And how much did we pay? I want to say that was like something like $2.48. But I'm usually wrong. I don't remember what I paid for these things. I can't even find the orders. Chanel. I know it's the first picture in one of these orders though, so... It should, I should be able to find it relatively quickly. I'm going to run it. There it is. Chanel. Chanel. $5.98. Oops, so much for, and now it's $5.39. You can get it in white or black. <gasps> uh. Here are some fingernails that are like a gray gunmetal, like gunmetal gray. That's really cool. I might put those on. Like not right now, but I might put them on after this video. Thereby, Finger is the brand. <laughs> that can't be right. Maybe, maybe that's the name of their brand. I should make this, I should have widened the camera and I should be actively putting things away where they belong as we do each one. That would make me, because the thing I'm dreading, you guys know, is putting all this stuff away. One of these orders was an experiment. I wanted to learn how to cancel one thing in an order. And I placed a tiny order of stuff I really didn't care about and then learn that you can, when you hit cancel an item, it won't cancel the whole order. You can then go in and, and pick which item you want to cancel, which is cool. And then they'll refund you. 
So that's something to know. That was 378, those nails, I think. This is going to take forever. All right, here's a ring. Now, I've already bought this ring, and I bought it twice. A big stone ring. But not as big as the picture. It's like I've forgotten how to work my hands. I'm used to working them at an angle with those fingernails on. Now that I just have stubby little fingers, it's like I don't... Okay, look at my stubby little fingers. It's just this thing again. We already have this ring. We already have it. Okay, now I've got two of them in case I lose one of them. Am I going to put it in the giveaway? No. It's really cool. It's a size 7. I love it. It's fabulous. I want to say it costs two fifty, but I've noticed this morning that I kind of want to say everything costs two fifty. Do we want? Do we care? Does anybody really care how much that one ring cost? I could just look down at my phone and make up a number and just tell a total lie, but I'm not going to do that. Let's just have a moment of silence as we hope, you know, Clover is just not having that little cat. Um, she is, she gets so angry whenever he comes around that she will hiss if she even sees him from across the room and it is no fun in our house right now. Okay. So that was a dollar 79 and no, it looks nothing like this. Stop it, Timu. Now that is false advertising. We threw this little tantrum the last time I ordered this ring, so I don't know why I'm all shocked again. Here's some more fingernails, and nobody cares how much they cost, and they are just little French tip looking. They look too big for my fingers, frankly, but nails. Do it yourself. <laughs> I read it in like an angry. Do it yourself. Gosh, my mood. It's the sound of this box. It's kind of like Chinese water torture. Probably going to offend somebody. No, but that sound. I'm sorry for that sound. I hope people are still here. I would have left a long time ago. Here are some more fingernails. Yay. These are cat eye in the color of tiger eye fingernail. Oh, the, no, they're purple. I have no idea what color these nails are. I know it kind of distresses me, though, when it says handmade fingernails in the description, and I'm like, handmade? Did they, did some poor person really make those fingernails by hand? And if so, were they paid adequately, and were their working conditions good? You know, after all the things we've kind of read about Timu and Shein, I don't want anything handmade from either of these places. Here they are. They are, I'm curious to see how much handmade, 10 pieces, handmade, press on nails, $4.48, and they are sold out. Ooh, I wonder if Timu got in trouble. No, they're just sold out. These are those gray ones are sold out too. Those are two ninety eight. Okay, get the box again. This is another little wrist rest wrist rest for your desk at work. I decided to get the rabbit because somebody told me that the pig that I was using looked like a naked lady and it was stressing them out. And I thought, what? What are you doing looking at my pig and thinking it's a naked lady? Like, first of all, stop looking at my desk. Second of all, no, I wouldn't sit here with my hand resting on a naked lady, moving my mouse around. And then third of all, stop thinking about naked people at work and all kinds of things. Like, 
It's a weird thing for somebody to say. I swear I cannot do anything without somebody getting upset or offended or asking me to stop. What was that sound? I'm getting, I'm a little jangly today. Okay, how much was that rabbit? How much was that rabbit in the window? The one with the waggly tail. I have no idea, you guys. When we find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> here it is right here. I'm sure people are just dying. They're on the edges of their seats going, tell me how much the ergonomic wrist rest support cost. $2.70 is what I paid for it, but now it's $1.74. It's the number five best seller in desk accessories, and you can get it as a gray cat, which I can't use because it blends in too much with my gray mouse pad. You can get that rabbit. You can get a dog like the... um. Let me just blank out for a minute while I'm trying to think of what that dog is called. I don't know. Or you can get a pig. You guys know this dog. Everybody knows this dog. Hold on. Someone will put it in comments. It's called, not a husky, but it's a, you know, the Dogecoin dog. You can get that too. I really should have gotten that instead of the rabbit. I'm filled with buyer's remorse. Okay, the next thing is a really low-cut sweater. Actually, I'm not going to take that out yet. Look, I found a pack of these fortune-telling fish. Do you guys remember these from when you were a kid? They are real old school. So hopefully you guys remember there are 25 magic fortune-telling fish. And I thought I would put them in Christmas cards. I always put like a scratch-off ticket in my Christmas cards well, to my local people and... I don't know, you know, like, oh, it's sold out. Here's another seller that has them for $2.49. What did I pay? I paid $3.48. All right, so you, look, I'll show you how this works. And you look for magic fortune teller fish. I will pin my order, try to put my orders in the description. But since these are sold out in my order, if you want uh, some fortune telling fish, you search for magic, fortune, teller, fish. And then it tells you, first you have to get the package open. Okay, and then there are little envelopes with these little fish in them. And you place fish in, you take the fish out, place fish in palm of hand, and the movements will indicate, like, I'll show you. So I'm putting it in the palm of my hand. Okay, what's happening? The head is curling up. Just the head. Okay, the head is curling up. So I wish it could tell me where my glasses are. The head is curling up. The tail is kind of, well, the head is really curling up. Okay, so it says moving head indicates jealousy. Wait, now the tail is moving up a little bit too. Moving head and tail in love. There's a little thing on the back that says what it's doing. If it doesn't do anything, you're, it's a dead one. If it curls up entirely, you're passionate. If it just moves the tail, you're indifferent. And if the sides curl, you're fickle. If it turns over, you're false. Wow, if it turned completely over, it would kind of freak me out a little. Well, now my thumbprint is right on it, too. I was going to put it back in, but I'll just keep this one for days when I want to tell my own fortune. That's cool. I haven't seen these since I was a little kid and we used to get them at the dentist's office when we got our teeth cleaned as a prize. Cheese, look at my fortune telling fish. All right. It's a fish. Yay. Miracle fish. I guess your body heat makes it do that. I'm just going to take a wild guess. 
Okay, I had taken this out and then not opened it because I'm absent-minded like that. This is... A pair of sunglasses. Why would they put them in a box like that? So they wouldn't get, because they're so cheap. Wow. Go get yourself some cheap sunglasses. I don't know. I feel like I've already bought these sunglasses once. Why do I just keep going round and round with the same pairs of sunglasses? I broke my beloved sunglasses that I've had for about five years and nothing compares to them. And I thought maybe these would, but no, these just look make me look like a bug. Bugged out. Okay, I'm gonna try to relax and have a good time. Well, you know what, kids? When we see those sunglasses, and inevitably we will, I will let you know how much they cost. But right now, it's just a gigantic mess. of It's just a smorgasbord of orders. And it makes me really, when I look at it, I want to take a nap. Okay, I bought this sweater. because I've lost some weight. You can't tell in the sweatshirt. I think I'm back down to a size six. And I would like to get down to a size four. Whoa, it's really low cut. That's all right. I'll put a tank top on under it and it's cinched in at the waist. It's hot. It's a sexy sweater. I bought a sexy sweater, you guys. Of course, it feels like wads of toilet paper. It's not very heavy quality. It's a sexy summer sweater. Wow, look at the arms, too. The arms are a little bit... So, it's got a ribbed waist and arm sleeves. And then it's really low cut. Now, of course, the model was wearing it, you know, with... Let me try to find this sweater and see how much I paid for it. I was feeling, you know, like not dressing like such a slob. Well, I was feeling like, because I always wear these big clothes that cover up my body. Just, and I thought, you know, I should really accentuate my newish figure with a big sleazy sweater. Is this it? No. Sometimes you need to just stop talking because that turned, that sounded wrong. In through the nose, out through the mouth. What is that bat doing there? Never mind. I hope that's a cat toy. You guys, I have some bad news. I don't know where this sweater is. There it is. Yeah, of course the model is just wearing it like, like God intended. It's 1119. Here's what it looks like on the model. Now I, of course, would wear a cami or a tank top under it or something. I've got these half um, tank tops that I bought here on Timu that come, they cut off right under your chest and that I've, they come in a bunch of different colors. So I paid $12.47 and that sweater is now $11.19. And I got it in a size 810. Oh my gosh, it's a diamond painting. What a refreshing change. I haven't seen a diamond painting in so long. Diamond paintings, now y'all know how much diamond paintings are on Timu. 
This diamond painting looks like this, and I paid $3.50 for it. Wait, it's sold out, so I can't even show it to you. This item is sold out. Why, though? I can kind of show it to you on my phone. It's just a little Van Gogh-y looking wind and tree and sun, and I, I don't really know, actually. I have no idea what it's a picture of. I would need to get my glasses out. Oh, there are two ghosts flying around a haunted house with pumpkins. Oops. All right. That's what that is. Then I accidentally bought two of these angels. So I'll take one out since, of course, they put the sticker on the front and not the back. And then I'll probably give the angel to somebody or put it in a Christmas card or do my... I don't know, 8,000 subscriber giveaway and put it in there or do some kind of holiday giveaway box. I've done two giveaways on this channel so far and they've been kind of stressful, but that's a pretty brooch. Made in China. And I think those were like 250 Everything is two fifty. Welcome to the land where everything. Now I didn't mean to buy two. It says times two. Oops. They were one seventy eight each, and now they're one sixty eight each. Okay. Here are some more nails. Gosh, I bought a lot of clothes. Here are some earrings that are cute. They're hammered silver earrings. And how long have we been recording? 30 minutes already? We're just slogging through this one. Kind of. It's just the joy is gone when they put every order I have in a box. Like... I don't know. I kind of like waiting and getting one order at a time and all this stuff. When they cram all of it in a box, I it just takes the fun out of it, I think, for me. I don't like getting a gigantic box of stuff. It just makes me feel kind of hungover, like a shopping hangover when you get a box this big full of all this stuff. And then you feel kind of ashamed and like oh my gosh look at all the stuff I bought kind of like feeling at least that's how I feel why am I yelling those earrings I thought they would be smaller one dollar and 37 cents okay stop making that sound let me find the plastic bag put these in here Try to get the trash under control. And then it just makes it kind of feel like a chore, you know? When you've got a huge box that you've got to get through. Maybe I'll just stop this video here. This is just a set of three um, turtlenecks, I think. Ooh, and just I can look at them and see that they look like shiny ugh, yeah they're shiny well they're i don't know they're all right oh no this is a set of three tank tops all right i got a set of three tank tops and somewhere in there spoiler alert there should be a set of three turtlenecks but i'm not thrilled with this army green but they come in army green like what's a khaki oh four the white and the black ones are the only ones i really care about so it's comes in brown green black and white and I think these were like eight bucks or something I remember thinking what a great deal and I can layer my clothes yay tank tops well because of all these low-cut things that require tank tops under them how many it starts sounding weird when I say tank tops a lot tank tops it sounds like I have something caught in my throat I don't know where those cats are or what they're doing, and I feel quite nervous about it. I don't hear anybody fighting. 
it feels, it sounds, I mean, it's eerily quiet. Here they are. They were $12.99. And they are still $12.99. And you get four. What is this? Some glasses. These are reading glasses. They're cat eyes. This was in my experimental order where I just grabbed some things and threw them. Like I grabbed like four little things and I threw them in the cart and wanted to try to teach myself how to cancel items. And I thought if I accidentally cancel the whole order, it'll be no big deal. Yes. May I help you find something in my library? No. I mean, I'm not going to ever let anybody see me in these. Ever. Readers? Oh, look, I don't even need my readers now because I'm wearing them. Readers on Timu are about... I should have brought some coffee, you guys. Readers on Timu, I paid $4.79 and they are now $4.29. What is this? Fashion Halloween Acrylic Animal. I don't know. Did I accidentally buy nail art? Okay, get this get these off. This are this hurt my face. Put them on the bookshelf next to the books where they are most needed. This is a necklace. No, it's not. These are earrings. That look I'm all about the geometry these days. Now, mind you, I did not do very good in that class. But I sure like it as jewelry. Now I need those glasses back. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base. No treble. Okay, well, whatever. When I fix these things, they're kind of... They'll look like this. Wow. Right on. Okay. I don't know how much those are. I'll let you know when I see them. What in the world is this? Oh, I got this for my mom. It's a banana bag. It keeps bananas ripe or from going, turning brown or something. It's a banana bag. Yay. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Look, it's magic in there. For a minute, I wanted to smell it. Now I'm craving a banana. Yes, we have no bananas. We have a bunch of brown bananas downstairs. If we had that bag, they wouldn't have turned brown. I don't know how much the banana bag costs. I'm going to say $2.50. Let's see if I can find the banana bag. Because I think many people would like that banana bag. And that's an important thing to share with people. Is how much it costs. Like so far that's the only thing in this haul. That's really made me. <laughs> light up with joy. The banana bag. Banana. Right now I just feel like a greedy consumer. I feel kind of bad. You guys, There's a banana bag. I like the fortune-telling fish, too. I would have been happy with just fish in the banana bag. I paid $3.99 for it, and they're still $3.99. Okay. Back on track. In an order. Are there earrings in there that I couldn't find? No. That's all right. We'll find those. We'll figure out how much those geometric earrings cost soon. Okay, this is... Is this a pack of turtlenecks? Does it say zitch? 
Ew, whatever it is, it feels awful. It's definitely never going on my body. Oh, it's a long sleeve. It said ribbed long sleeve sh shirt, and I wanted it to be cotton, but it's made out of scuba diving suit material. I don't know. I like to look like a juvenile and wear those under t-shirts in the winter time. I don't know what I paid for it, you guys. I don't know where it is. I don't, I don't know. Nobody cares. I know it's not exciting, so. But Timu, I was going to say is good for wardrobe staples like that, but not really, because they're you'd be better off just getting them at Target. You can feel the quality. Not that Target has like the ultimate qual or Walmart or something. I have no idea. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going or we're, we're never going to get out. Ugh. This. is some kind of a shirt, a hoodie. I'm so confused. This is some kind of a shirt, just like a black shirt that maybe ties at the waist. Eh, ain't that my thumbnail? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is, what it's supposed to look like, what order it came from. Nothing. I know nothing, Jon Snow. When we see it, I'll go, oh, here's what it was supposed to look like, and I'll show you. But right now, I don't know. It's a black strange shirt but look I do see something it's a bag I feel happy and lighthearted all of a sudden I think I saw somebody haul this bag It's quilted and it's a little purse. Now, maybe my mom would like it. Oh no, the zipper's all messed up. Come on, don't do me like that, Timu. All right, it's got a pocket in the back. It's got, oh, that kind of ruins it, doesn't it? I don't know. It's got tassel-y zipper. It's got some tassels and some I have no idea what, what this stuff is, but it's got one compartment here. I appreciate that they put styrofoam in it. Look how many compartments it has. That's why I got so excited. And then it's got another one here. Woo, and then it's got a big, oh, I like this strap, except it says, oh, it says love, all right. Whatever. So then it's got like a big, roomy compartment here and then it's got another compartment here and I like the color of blue I just I don't know how I feel about this thing I might try to take this thing off can you take it off I think you can yeah just pull the ring apart I might take the it seems excessive to me maybe it'll grow on me I don't know it's making noise and I paid I think I got some kind of a deal on this or there's a reason why I bought this purse. I paid $9.99 for it, and it's $19.98. That's what it is. I got, it was one of those spin the wheel deals. And I thought, that is so cute. And you can also get it in black. And see, what the one thing, though, is that it's got a bear on it in the picture. It does not have a, is there a bear anywhere on this? They just lie to me. They just lied. They just flat out lied. Unless it's in here. Oh, look. That is precious. Okay. Cool. 
I'm excited about that. That was a good, good buy for 10 bucks. All right. All right, then. Well, I wish I had a bottle of water and a Valium. But I really wish I had a bottle of water. I'm not, that was not, do I have a bottle of water? Did I start piling stuff on top of my water? Did I start this video without water? I have an empty bottle of water. All right, pardon the crinkling. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why I bought this bat. I have no idea. I, I really don't know what I was planning on doing with it. I don't know what it is. It was $2.99. And it was in my experimental order, my four little things order. It is a pin and it's acrylic. It looks creepy. So I guess it's okay for Halloween. Cheese. Oh, yuck. Look at my fingernails. Cheese. All right. So there's a bat. Here is, how deep does this go? A headband that I really didn't care about, but I bought because I was trying to see if I canceled the order, if it would cancel the whole order. And I don't know why I just didn't cancel the whole order, but if you want a headband like that, the headband is, Wow, there must be a lot of stuff in this box. I feel exhausted just looking at it. What a Debbie Downer I'm being about this order. There's the howdy sign. Okay, the headband is $2.24 and it is still $2.24 and you can get it in that color black or you can get it in green and here's what it looks like when it's all fluffed out you notice how I've just resorted to showing you pictures on my phone instead of just opening them and trying them on and doing all that stuff here's a bunch of socks with faces on them I thought these are this is a whole huge bag of socks They've got little, they're funny. There's one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five pairs of socks in here. And that's hilarious. So I don't even remember seeing those. I don't remember ordering those. I don't know where to, I don't, I don't know. I'm still in pajamas, by the way. I just gave it away by showing my leg. Oops. Oops. And I can't even sort by delivered because this doesn't even think it's been delivered yet. Because you know I'm all about that bass. About that bass. No treble. I'll just sing while I'm trying to find them. For entertainment. I don't have any funny stories. I mean, the funniest thing that happened to me was some chick trying to talk me into stealing some M&Ms yesterday, like, which was just a weird thing to happen, but that's all I got. I don't really have anything going on. I don't have any impersonations of my mom to do. She got her hair. Oh, well, yeah, my mom got her hair cut and I, God help me, I didn't notice it yesterday. And Finally, she's like, aren't you going to say anything about my hair? And I felt so bad. But to be honest, she barely got anything taken off. And I didn't even notice it. Here's an order. 
that has a lot of things in it that we were trying to find. So those sunglasses were $1.98. The socks are $3.07, and now they're $3.47. The little compartment of clear jelly boxes, the first thing I took out of this bag, I paid $1.57 for that, I, and now it's $1.67. The rectangle earrings were 117 and now they are 147. The white solid ribbed long sleeve skinny shirt is 629 and it is still 629. All right, progress. Let me try to find something that's in this Oh my gosh, I got a pack of three turtlenecks. But what do they feel like is the question. Anyway, her haircut, my mom's haircut, she barely got anything taken off. Like, it wasn't like a drastic change, but she was still really hurt that I didn't notice her haircut. And I feel bad. I didn't know. I'm not her husband, like, uh, like it's hard with my dad who passed away five years ago. Like, I can't, I don't know, like, I, like, I, the yard, I work and everything, it's hard for me to take the place of my dad in that respect. It feels shiny and silky, silky turtleneck, silky, silky turtlenecks. That's not how, what I was hoping for. And I paid for a pack of three of those turtlenecks. There they are. I found them. I found them. Gray, black, and red. They are $19.29. And that is what I paid for them. Oh, and they smell bad. It smells like a fish market. In fact, I can't even get them to fold like this, so I'm not going to put this back in. I'll just put it right here. All right. 52 minutes and then some. This is another silky shirt. I can tell just by looking at it. It is a cowl neck shirt that I thought would look cute but now I'm thinking I'm not even going to be able to figure out how to get this on it hangs down I don't know you guys it's a cowl neck shirt that hangs down like this so yes and this is like the part like the a modesty panel right here but it is shiny polyester, and I'm going to give that a probably a hell no. That Find that at your local Goodwill store. What did I pay for it? I have no idea. Where is it? I. They have updated my things to say delivered. So if I sort this now by delivered... Life should be easier for us. Here it is. It is, I paid $9.89 for that and it is still $9.89. And here's a better idea of what it looks like. Of course, we can't really be that lucky. I'll try them on and maybe take some pictures. I'm getting tired of touching cheap clothes. This is a gray, it's supposed to be just a simple gray cardigan. Or something. Or sweater. Why, why I felt like I wanted it? I really don't know. It's very, 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 very itchy feeling. It's rough. Maybe some fabric softener will help. 
It's got, does it have two big pockets right here? It does. I know exactly why I bought it. I thought I could wear it over leggings. And I'm sure I paid about 10 bucks for it. Let's just say 10 bucks until we see otherwise. Otherwise, we're going to be here all day. I don't know. I'll let you know as soon as I find it. I'll keep it right here on my lap. Here's another diamond painting. Ghosts for $5.98. Yet another diamond painting. And it looks like it's a happy ghost that is about to haunt a house. It will look like that when it's done. I liked the colors. And now I swear, though, I am not buying any more diamond paintings. No more. No more diamond paintings ever again. Once you start, you just can't stop buying them. And then you end up with 9,000 of them that you're never going to get done. Okay, I see something that was in the order I was just in. So now I'm trying to get back to that one order that I was just in because I got some pillowcases. Where is it? I have on that Dollar Tree lip gloss that supposedly adjusts to the shade of your lips and apparently are like it's clear, but then it turns the color when you put it on. That hasn't been delivered. Murder duck. So the murder duck sweater, if you were here for that video, that murder duck is that game. It's a goose, murder goose, or it's a it's a video game where the duck or the goose crawls all over your screen or something, and sometimes it has a knife, I think. I don't know, but thank you to those of you who figured out that it was a video game reference, and now I feel like a teenage boy. All right, let's get back to this order. I like this order. It's a happy order. It's got some pillowcases in it and some big square earrings. Here's a throw pillowcase that was $3 for one burlap canvas pillowcase, but it's going to look good with this thing behind me <laughs> if I ever get this bed made and fluffed up. And it looks like, I'll show y'all a picture of it. It looks like I got two of them. I got this one. And then I got, maybe I just got one. If so, I'm really proud of myself. There's not another one in here. Yes, there's another one in here. Then I got this one. Uh-oh, something just dropped out. This one. Come on, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I need a coach. A hall coach that looks like this. So cool. I mean, if you picture them on my bed underneath this canopy, they got kind of the same colors going on and... Or canopy tapestry. It'll look pretty. I have a vision. I have a vision of a beautiful bedroom. I have a vision of a bottle of water that I thought for sure I put up here before I started this haul and I need it desperately. Let me stick my hand under this pile of Timu stuff and see if I feel a bottle of water. Here is, here it is. <laughs> It was buried under an avalanche. Let's hydrate, everybody. Hello. It's a happy day. We have a box full of stuff. It's like a box full of mental illness. Most of it is cheap, horrible clothing. Why do I keep buying their clothing? Tell me not to buy their clothing anymore. Just buy, and we're done. I have enough earrings now. I have enough earrings now to last me a lifetime. 
I could wear a different pair every day for the rest of my life. Thank you, Timu. Here are some cow print pillow, sleeping pillow cases. And they are soft. Please let them be the same as the ones that I have. The ones that I have came with the sheet set. These, please don't let these be like scuba divey, polyester-ish. I mean, we know they're going to be polyester, but they could be soft polyester. They could. We can dream. We can hope. Oh, they're not. They're like, uh, they're rough. We'll try a little fabric softener. Those pillowcases were, I have no idea, you guys. I'm try, I'm just excited that we found one order with some things in it. I see a brassiere. I got yet another one of these purse hangers. Now, I'm going to run out of space on my closet doors. If you have this many purses that you need like five or six of these things, it is time to say goodbye to your purses. <laughs> you know, I am reaching again just to set those things aside. All right, here's some fingernails. I think I have enough fingernails now to wear a different pair of fingernails every day of the week too. Okay. Here's some brown eyebrow. Here's a brown eyebrow pen. I'm gonna start speed running this. Brown eyebrow pen. Should we try it right now? No, I just did my eyebrows. I did them as best as I could. If it weren't wrapped in plastic, sure, I would try it. I didn't know I bought an eyebrow pen. What was I thinking? I wonder if I'm going to run out of memory. This video is an hour. Oh, I saw the one and then I saw 42 seconds. And I thought this video was an hour and 42 minutes long. And I was like... Holy cow, but it's just an hour and one minute. Well, it's going to be fun watching the replay. I always neurotically watch the replay before I upload it to make sure that there was nothing in my teeth. Could you imagine if there was something in my teeth or whatever? I can't get this open. I'm sorry. Otherwise, I would have tried it. Wait, where are my scissors? We could try to just saw it, saw at it. Like that. Just tear it open like this. Okay, now. I need one of those. You guys have, seen, have you guys seen those glasses that flip up? Like one glass will flip up. Like one lens will flip up and the other one will... Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base, no treble. I was watching Holler Time this morning and she was talking about how she has a problem with getting stuck on songs. I have a huge problem with getting stuck on songs. Like, there isn't a time of the day when a song is not running through my head, which is a maddening way to live, actually. We've just given up on prices at this point. Here's another eyeliner. Is it in one piece for a change? Remember when I kept trying to order this brown eyeliner and it kept showing up broken and then like an idiot, I just kept ordering it over and over and over. Music flower, makeup eyeliner, nude looks, charming electric eyes only by one draw. Gosh. This stuff is really drying, is what I was going to say a long time ago. This Dollar Tree color changing stuff. My lips feel so dry right now. Okay, so it looks like this. Nice. I'll link to all 800 of these orders in my description box. Am I even going to upload this video? I might not even upload this video. This video is horrible. Everything in it seems kind of horrible. Like, the whole thing is just horrible. Like, I am being a Debbie Downer. I don't care. Here's some silver fingernails. Wow, those are silver. And, and they look really... 
They look way too long for me. These would go in a giveaway box. Oh, I put the ugly things in a giveaway box. I didn't mean it like that. Here's a t-shirt. Please be soft. Oh, I don't know. It's shiny. It's a long sleeve, simple shirt with a pink. It's a pink shirt with a heart on it. Yay. Did I need it? No, I didn't need it. I can finally move that box. That box was so heavy, you guys. Just trying to get it up the stairs. It almost killed me. All right, let's see if I can't find that pink t-shirt. There it is. It, I paid 10 bucks for that. $10.48. And it looks way cooler on the model. I should have gotten the black one. See, women's thermal tops. That's what I want, too. Thermal. But, I, I mean, I want, like... Uh-oh, there's the noon fire alarm. All right, what else? Here are some really long, really blue fingernails. Woo, for 83 cents. Thank you for your order. Here are some little tiny snowflake nails that are cute. And who knows? Here are some more nails that are too long and glittery. I have to have short ones. I can't do the long ones, but they were, I think, $1.99. Here is a brassiere, and it's just like that blue one that I've shown you a couple of times, except it's beige instead of blue. It's kind of got like a little bit of padding in it, and it's got these little, it's got these it's just really comfortable. It's not that attractive, but it's comfortable. And unfortunately for everyone, no, I'm not gonna be modeling that. And I wanna say it's 10 bucks. But who knows, if I see it, I'll let you know. Here are some earrings that are more, I'm in a, I'm in a geometric mood these days. I don't know. I've just never bought so many square. They look like they're made out of straw, but they're like these. Whoa, yeah, those are awesome. Hey. Okay. Those were geometric square design dangle earrings $1.07. Here's another pair of nail. They all look the same. Am I just buying the same pairs over and over and over again? Stop it. Stop it. This is the thing I'm really excited about. Now, it's an under desk peddler. So, I'm going to put... Now, these are a fortune on Amazon. But that's exactly what I'm going to do with it. You put it under your desk. And it's easy to carry stepper step away from varicose veins, get sexy and healthy leg. Seven color style. So you just pedal away under your desk while you're sitting there. Now I'll let you guys know, I'm gonna take it to work. I guess I have to probably put it together. Or maybe if I take it out of the box, it'll spring apart. Oh, it looks like I have to put it together. Instruction and warranty. Wow. Okay, wait, how much? I'll try to find this. How much did I pay for that? I'm excited to try to use that. Okay, I see a diamond painting for $3.48. Here's a diamond painting really quickly that is right here. 
That's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm gonna drink tequila and diamond paint. I'm just gonna lay down on this pile of cheap clothes, do shots, and paint paint some diamonds. Okay, we were looking for that stepper to see how much it cost. When I drink tequila. Okay, that bra, look, there's that bra. That brazier was $3.57. I was like, I'm going to say 10 bucks. Wrong. All right. Let me find this stair step. The pillow, the cow pillowcases were. Okay, the stair stepper was $12.37 for under the desk, and it's now $12.38. I have really high hopes for it, you guys. Like, please work. Like, I didn't work. I don't know what, like, the goal. I just want it to, because this lady who works near me has one, and when I looked it up on Amazon, it was really expensive like $60 or something but it didn't look exactly hers is a lot more high tech than this but whatever does the job those cow print pillowcases were $5.07 they are $5.07 I paid $6 for them I bought a that could be a thumbnail and it says happy cheese I bought a refill of that, you know, liquid eraser that erases thermal printing eraser refill. I paid a dollar seventy for it. Look, are you kidding me? Another eyebrow pencil. And I have this one already. Why did I buy it again? Oh, because I wanted to try it in this color. Because that one color I had was a little bit red. But I like the one that we just tried right here. Okay, eyebrow pencil. I don't know, you guys. Uh-oh. This is what I got the guy at work. He's Santa Claus, and he's got the full outfit. He goes to Santa Claus conventions. He takes it really seriously, and I just thought it would be funny to give him a North Pole driver's license to drive his sleigh, and it kind of looks like him, too. Well, I mean, he looks like Santa, and I think I'm just going to be like, hey, man, I saw this and thought of you. Here's your driver's license for the North. I don't know. I don't know if it's weird to give a married man like something you've got on Timu, but he's really proud of being Santa and it's really nice of him to be Santa Claus every year. And how much are those Santa Claus licenses? They are $1.99. And this eyeliner was $2.47. Those snowflake fingernails were $1.98. And they are now $1.79. They look really cute on. Please look like that on me. They look cute. I can't wait. It's almost Christmas. Um. Um. I think that um, favorites, well, Laura hauled the same necklace the other day, or at least one kind of like it. It's a necklace with a heart on it. It's really cute. It cost 89 cents. Now it's 98 cents. Retro funky simple heart necklace. I wonder where my cats are, you guys, and what they're doing. It's eerily quiet in here. I'm concerned a little bit. The over-the-door purse hanger was 57 cents, and now it is 77 cents. 
no, 177. I got it for 57 cents. That's why I got another one because I was like, it's 57 cents. Here's yet another one of these same. I must have bought it twice. Oops. Does it say times two on the thing? We're almost done. We're almost done. Some more nails. I can't pronounce that word. Perfect nail liner. I don't know. They look a little big to me. Do it yourself. <laughs> from, now on, from now on, whenever I read DIY, do it yourself. Instead of friendly, do it yourself. It just, to me, in my head, it's like somebody going, do it yourself. Do it yourself. I can't. I can't stop laughing at that. It's really stupid, too. It's my latest stupid thing. Besides this pink ring. That, how many pink rings do I need? And I think I've already bought this one nine times. Being such a Debbie Downer. This looks familiar, doesn't it? I don't know how much it cost. Let's say this entire box probably cost about, I don't even want to think about it. We almost done. There are two more things in here at one hour and 15 minutes. Here's a black ring. And an I'm engaged, leave me alone. To a vampire. It would be cool if the gold weren't so yellow. That makes it look kind of cheesy. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm not a fan. I'm sorry, ring. I don't want to hurt the ring's feelings. How much did I pay for that? Well, I just was looking at it like a second ago. I'm engaged. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm engaged. I can't remember which way I say it. It's been so long since I've said it. I don't know, you guys, how much that ring costs. This should be a... Lego? Lego Angel? It's Legos. But there are more... Lego pieces that are not. I have to be very careful of this. But some of the Lego pieces are not in the. It's going to end up being a Santa Claus with wings when I get done putting it together. Going to drink tequila and put together Lego people. Okay, you guys, the good news. Okay, Christmas little toy, $1.98. It's going to look like this when I finally put it together. It's an angel with a Santa hat on it. Now, the good news is, for all of us, is that's all. It's empty. Yay! Smile for a thumbnail. Happy, clap along if you feel. All right, you guys, I don't know what to say about that. My favorite thing in here, besides the banana bag, I, I really love this purse. And um, I'm excited to make my bed and put these, even though they are canvas, I like these throw pillows. I'm excited about this under desk peddler thing. I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know how it worked out. I don't, I don't know really what to say about any of this stuff, except I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I feel vaguely guilty and I don't know why. Like, this was done in the past. What's done is done. I went on a little bit of a shopping binge. Most of the stuff was junk. I need to reassess my entire life. I'm having like an existential crisis, actually, kind of. I like the fortune-telling fish. I like these trippy nails that were apparently handmade. 
and the clothes, no, just no to all, almost all the clothes, no. I didn't even get any fun t-shirts or anything. I just got a, oh yeah, I like that little heart t-shirt. All right, if you watch, thank you for watching. If you if you hit the like button, thank you for hitting like and thank you for your kind comments below. And it is an hour and 20 minutes, holy cow. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, day, evening, morning. I'm gonna come back and do a review and I might change shirts and hats. <laughs> I gotta get these reviews done. I feel so guilty. It's like having homework that you need to get done that you just, mm. all right, well, goodbye. I love and appreciate all of you guys so much. And I want to thank you for supporting this channel. And I'm sorry that this was just a big smorgasbord of a box of stuff. Like, wow, just wow. Okay. How do we stop this thing?